So hello and welcome to another episode of the Leadership Lens, where we speak with global leaders on what's trending in this ever dynamic ecosystem of advertising, marketing, martech, and most importantly, consumer management. I'm Shiny, your host for Leadership Lens today, and I lead content for ad tech and iMedia events in India. So today we have with us a very special guest. It's Ravi Garg, who heads WhatsApp's Business for India, driving all of WhatsApp's revenue and growth in India over the last few years. Ravi joined WhatsApp from Microsoft, where he spent close to 13 years leading multiple roles. Ravi brings with him over 25 years of experience in high growth industries, such as IT, telecom, FMCG, across verticals and across roles from sales to marketing to business strategy and operations. Amazing portfolio, Ravi. Thank you so much for joining, joining us on the Leadership Lens today. Thank you, Shannon. It's my pleasure to be on this platform. Looking forward yeah. to your conversation. Wonderful. And I have I have some really topical questions to ask you, Ravi, because this is, sure. you know, WhatsApp is one of the most important channels that have come out uh, from a report that we did at AdTech is that one of the most important channels that marketers are strongly dependent on is WhatsApp and messaging and, you know, creating that once-to-one -one connect with the user is very, very important. Uh, Ravi, uh, overall uh, in, in, in today's world or in this year specifically, and I'm talking from the ad tech drivers of growth report, is what we've seen is it's a very, very strongly performance-driven market. And it's a year where it's, it's kind of, you know, budgets are difficult for everyone to come by this year, be it the funding winter or, you know, be overall CFO worries. Uh, where do you see growth coming from in this year? Yeah, no, you're right, Shani, and, and uh, things have been evolving, uh, have been a bit challenging for certain industries. But we have been honestly on a growth path for many years. This year is no unique for us. We opened up this platform a couple of years back for businesses to engage with WhatsApp the way users engage with users on WhatsApp with the simple eye, and we wanted to ensure users get the same experience when they engage with businesses. And with that lens, the platform was opened up. And since then, the adoption, the response from businesses, marketers, advertisers has been phenomenal to be candid. Everybody saw this, uh, WhatsApp is the biggest platform in the country and there was nothing bigger. And everybody saw this as a very big opportunity to reach out to uh, new users, existing users in a very, very personalized way. And, and that has driven the growth for us over the years. And this year has honestly not been very different. Uh, while while you're right that every business is seeing some challenges and some advents, but every business is also looking at avenues for growth. And that's where WhatsApp comes in, where we are the platform which can help businesses acquire new customers uh, who, who may not have been their existing customers. And that's where we have many good capabilities and, and, and uh, features that we have built on the technology and platform that can help businesses acquire new users. Uh, also, like, going out and retaining and engaging with existing users is big big need because while acquisition of new users is expensive can we get more out of existing users and and that's also been a pretty strong growth driver where whatsapp has been able to make a difference compared to other platforms honestly is this is very personal to me platform engagement right it's not a one is to many broad uh, mass media marketing type of an engagement it's very personalized a business can send you a very personal message, hey, Shiny, this is for you versus to me, hey, Ravi, this is for you. And obviously the response rates can be much more different. So we have seen businesses really adopt that platform's power and really grow this business even in these uh, difficult times. And, and we continue to see growth both in existing businesses who have adopted WhatsApp, but plus many, many new businesses are signing up for us every month. And, and hopefully this continues for us. No, absolutely. Like I said, there are drivers of growth report, which is essentially around 60 to 70 CMOs filling up the report on what are their priorities for the coming year. And WhatsApp ranked right on top yeah. one or two for each of these categories, be it acquisition, be it loyalty, be it retention, marketing, personalization, like you said. So, which is why I am so excited to do this conversation today. Uh, so, Ravi, tell me, what were the, what are the businesses or, you know, are there any specific kind of industries or businesses that you think WhatsApp has been most effective in helping and what kind of businesses really benefit the most from this kind of marketing? Honestly, 
with whatsapp i i i would hesitate to say that there is a particular cohort of businesses which has uh, uh, been doing versus others as you know we have uh, the whole platform where we can service a very small shop owner to one of the largest enterprises any every large enterprises uh, we have two different platforms uh, for businesses we have the whatsapp small business app where millions of small businesses actually today also use the platform uh, and they engage with their customers in their very hyper local environment whether it's a grocer a pharmacy even a saloon or or a very small uh, boutique or something uh, they use whatsapp small business app where they can build today a catalog auto response and they share these catalogs and people can buy it so that's a pretty large growth driver for us where many small businesses are actually driving uh, adoption uh, and growth of their business via whatsapp and the way we uh, drive growth for them is uh, a property which we have called click to whatsapp where uh, businesses can run ads on facebook instagram and these platforms uh, but because these small businesses don't have a website or an app the conversation actually lands on whatsapp and then it becomes a personal conversation with the users and these small businesses really have seen millions and millions of uh, consumers engaging with them on whatsapp globally uh, to be candid this is a multi billion dollar business for us and obviously india is also very large there and we continue to see small business growth on the large enterprise side we have the enterprise tech platform where we have built a lot of rich capabilities and we have been adding those capabilities over the last several years today a large enterprise can build a complete end to end commerce experience where you can do full shopping on whatsapp the way the experience is almost the way it would be on your app or let's say financial services institution can actually do a complete banking or any other fintech experience that may want to do or we have seen experience and i i let me give you some examples to make it real like for example today the whole insurance sector almost every large insurer in the country has built a complete insurance policy uh acquisition and renewal journey on whatsapp where you don't need to go to any other place they will send you a message saying your insurance policy is up for renewal you press a single button you get the pro forma document of your policy you press a button you can make a payment native within whatsapp and then the policy in your in, is your in, in whatsapp inbox within minutes you and and that's that's power uh I I can't share the exact number but hundreds of crores of rupees worth of transactions is happening on WhatsApp today on the fintech side similarly when you talk of other services like let's say travel booking train booking train tickets booking we have launched services where people can book native metro tickets on WhatsApp and we see millions of tickets getting booked every month across Delhi metro Bangalore metro things like that so the way we have evolved the platform is enabling every type of experience that a business wants and we keep talking to business and keep enabling those experiences there so we are seeing growth across segments uh, obviously the adoption is faster in the businesses which are consumer facing like uh, the new tech commerce companies e-commerce companies d2c companies uh, and and then fintech and financial services and then now we are seeing a new pattern where we are seeing uh, some of the traditional large conglomerate companies like auto and consumer products also now looking at whatsapp as a digital experience for them so it's pretty wide for us to be candid absolutely i think that is the beauty of the platform how it you know cuts across age groups most importantly demographics i mean yes. uh, there is this whole set who's on facebook and not on instagram but everyone is on whatsapp WhatsApp, and yeah. yeah yeah be it the kid or the grandfather both of them are on whatsapp and therefore every kind of uh, you know industry be it big small at age every group i see this happening you're right you know the click to whatsapp uh, program the uh, you know the enterprise tech platform i have personally seen so many adoptions and uh, i mean i have friends whose entire businesses are running on whatsapp so yeah kudos Absolutely. to you. <laughs> okay uh, ravi now uh, on trends and you know the biggest trend today is of course gen, gen ai generative ai uh, and i think one of the one of the platforms that's most used it most effectively and has been using you know uh, variations of it for a while is whatsapp what is the role that this is playing in whatsapp's business offerings and how do you think brands can make most effective use of it on a whatsapp platform no oh, absolutely uh, honestly shani gen ai will be very transformative for a market like india we have such diverse culture so many dialects so many languages and still i think uh, the comfort in terms of most people being able to type and respond is not very high and yet still uh, a market where uh, there is a need for a platform or an engine or a technology which can really help uh, conversations and engagements very seamless between individual users coming in different languages like hey 
a person from Tamil Nadu speaking in Tamil, can a person sitting in UP talking in Hindi can converse? Today, it's it's not possible uh, or it's been very difficult, right? Unless you find a common language or interface like that. But imagine Gen AI where anybody across the country is sitting anywhere, either he speaks in any language or writes in any language, the technology understands and responds back in that same language is the power of AI that we believe will be very transformative. And what is the other, what is the platform available other than WhatsApp to connect so many millions together on single platform? So we really see Gen AI playing a very transformative role for every business in the country when they engage with users via WhatsApp. We ourselves, as you know, Meta has been investing on AI pretty extensively and is one of the leading players. We launched Llama 3 platform last year. Uh, we are bringing that capability of AI native within all of our platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, uh, both for consumers and businesses. For consumers, we have launched AI, AI native AI agents where people can actually leverage AI to get things done, get information done, and create content. Uh, our advertising platforms are really leveraging power of AI extensively. On WhatsApp, very soon, we will be launching uh, something called AI Agents. We'll announce it, uh, well, we have announced it recently in our mega event conversations, but uh, we'll roll that product out in a couple of months, where uh, businesses will be able to plug in the power of these AI agents into their business and engage with users in a very seamless manner. Today, I'll, I'll probably relate an experience uh, for us and every, every listener or you, audience to imagine. Today, when you want to buy a product, how you do you go? You, you go to a site, you choose a catalog, maybe you choose a product saying, I want to buy a shirt, and you get a whole long uh, catalog of shirts. You don't know which shirt you want to buy. You have to browse through hundreds before you find one. Sometimes you like the color, you don't like the color, you may not find the right size. It's a pretty elaborate experience that you need to go through before you reach the product. Now imagine a world where you just type on WhatsApp saying, I need a blue shirt of size 42, this shade with this price range, and you don't need to browse through thousands of products that brands, AI, sitting because of the AI agent of WhatsApp, the brands backend can actually show you the five shirts that are most relevant, and you can just with one click buy one. And, and you like you can save minutes, it's highly productive, and plus the experience is an aha, right? You didn't know to go through so many products from there. That's one. And imagine all that being done in multiple languages and in a simple way where you don't need to even type, you just speak in the system and learn and, and get it done for you. That's the power of AI that we believe we'll be able to unlock for businesses to grow their business pretty soon. So hopefully AI will be very transformative for both for consumers and businesses. Wonderful. So, uh, I mean, while, while uh, you know, this is a virtual agent who can uh, advise us from what shirt to buy, to what insurance to buy, to what car to buy. Clearly, it will be very transformative. The technology is really amazing. Yeah. And I think I think the sky is the limit when we're talking about, a, 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 you know, a virtual AI-based system that can do all of this. Uh, Ravi, I am really intrigued by, you know, the, the ideas that you shared around insurance. And insurance is, you know, is, I think everyone's kind of experienced it uh, around the virtual agent. Can you share, please share a few more case studies on, you know, what's been so exciting on WhatsApp? What have brands been doing uh, that is, you know, so transformative? Yeah, many of them. Maybe I'll give you flavors of examples. Like I shared insurance as example. Uh, I'll, I'll just name one of our pretty premier yeah. clients, Policy Bazaar. Uh, they have been using WhatsApp business platform extensively. And, and uh, they have seen a 5x growth in their insurance premium collection via WhatsApp compared to their other traditional media. That's that's pretty powerful, right? Uh, if you if you talk of uh, it's healthcare, we have Apollo. Apollo uh, as a segment where Apollo actually built a pretty extensive um, uh, uh, diagnostics booking services via WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Where today today people go to their app or people call their call center. Call center. Instead of that, they started promoting diagnostic diagnostics booking via WhatsApp, and they saw forty nine percent growth in bookings via WhatsApp. In a simple, okay. Because the interface is pretty, pretty easy, very simple to do. Um, I, I'll give you one more example of Royal Enfield. Uh, they used mm -hmm. to watch a very extensive. Royal Enfield, we all know, is a very, uh, I would say, lifestyle bike experience that people aspire for. Uh, they yeah. were launching a new bike and they decided to run a click to WhatsApp campaign where they ran campaigns on Facebook, Instagram. But instead of taking them to their website, they started lending them to WhatsApp, a click to WhatsApp campaign. In one hour, uh, they were able to get one crore worth of bookings done via WhatsApp. Uh, and in six hours, they got 1,100 plus test rides booked. 
Uh, and in a single day, they had six lakh people engaging with them via, via, via WhatsApp uh, due to this campaign on this. So it's really massive. And we have many small businesses, uh, uh, so small uh, fresh farm product selling, uh, achar selling, handicraft selling, and they have been using the sole power of the two WhatsApp and, and really driving growth, uh, not only in domestic market, but many of them are actually getting business now from international markets as well, because WhatsApp is present in many, many large countries. So these are some of the examples where really the platform has been driving a massive impact for businesses. Honestly, I feel that it is also because of the trust that people have on WhatsApp that, you know, when I click on this, this I'm going to a WhatsApp platform and not to some random website or third party platform where I don't know what's going to happen. But the whole trust that we have on WhatsApp is rubbing off on so many brands, especially the small D2C brand. It's really wonderful to see how that is helping them grow, you know, maybe build lives, uh, build careers, build businesses, and of course, growth for everyone. I think it's, it's a fabulous business model that we have there. Uh, uh, Ravi, yeah. last question. And uh, I think we've had this amazing conversation on what are the possibilities for WhatsApp? Any predictions, any future gazing that you want to do for AppTech and MarTech in the next 12 months, one year, two years? I, I wouldn't do future gazing, but I would just through an opportunity for the audience here that that the digital uh, ads industry is growing rapidly everybody knows it or everybody in the audience i'm sure is using multiple platforms for digital uh, i would invite all of you to really explore click to whatsapp as a surface uh, there's a very large part of india which is still not reachable through the current traditional digital platforms but whatsapp is there in everybody's hands everybody's pockets uh, very accessible and when you, where we have seen massive success when people drive click to WhatsApp, it can be that transformative platform to drive growth and we do believe that for a lot of small businesses who don't have their apps or websites and building an app and then trying to get an app downloaded is honestly going to be very painful, very expensive. WhatsApp can be the digital surface where you grow your business by running ads on Facebook and Instagram, but WhatsApp becomes your default surface to engage and grow the business. In fact, I, I'll just share one data point since uh, we're talking. Uh, we did a recent study with Bain uh, uh, on, on what's the potential for business messaging and how businesses and users see this platform. Uh, very interesting data point came from Bain. There are about 650 million digital, uh, digitally connected users, if I can use in the country. 200 million are the ones who are, we call as savvy people, people like you and me who are very comfortable with technology and who can buy products and do multiple things. There's this whole 400 million, 450 million people who are digitally connected, but they are not really very savvy. They are not downloading too many apps. They don't have space on phone. phone. Uh, they have low feature, low, low size phones, those low, low, low memory phones. And they're generally scared of really uh, using apps because of pins, passwords, you right, use the right word, trust and security. But WhatsApp is one app which is there on every app. And, and they are very comfortable doing a conversation on WhatsApp and doing their business. So there is a huge opportunity that I think Click to WhatsApp can unlock for a lot of these brands. And, and we are investing heavily as Meta to grow this part of our business. And, and I'm sure all, all the people who are looking at growth uh, would really benefit a lot with this this technology and this platform that we run now. Wonderful. I think I will put a link to the Click to WhatsApp program in the description to this video. So all of you watching this can actually, you know, start talking to WhatsApp and see how you it can benefit your business. So thank you so much, Ravi. I think this is a wonderful conversation. Like, like you said, there's just 200, 200 million people who are savvy and that it's a huge universe out there just in India and globally though. There is like, you know, Absolutely. the world out there. So, uh, and everyone, you know, universally, there is this constant trust on WhatsApp. So I think it's a beautiful platform to grow with, an easy platform to grow with for both sides, for the business and for the consumer. Thank you so much for sharing these highlights with us, Ravi. I think uh, a lot of businesses will be inspired if they're not already on WhatsApp, will be inspired to start using WhatsApp. Thank you so much. And we will see you at our next event. Thank you very much, Annie. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Really nice talking to you. Absolutely.